Hey, we got a question from a citizen named Zimmer who says, Hey, Baron, as an experienced joystick user when fighting an arena commander, can you know if the other players are using joystick or keyboard mouse? And if so, do you adapt your tactics and play style somehow to win against a keyboard mouse player? Um, so right off the bat, you don't need to adapt. I'm going to tell you why. Um, but I will tell you that, yes, you can figure out what people are playing with. Um, this comes with, with, with experience, right? As you play over time, you will start knowing, noticing patterns in the way people fly. You're going to notice um, different strengths and weaknesses that are common to different players that you will start to associate with, you know, if this person is flying keyboard mouse, if they're flying joystick, if they're using a gamepad. Those are the three main ones, right? I've talked before about different input methods, how each one has its own set of strengths and weaknesses. It's not, you know, one is better than the other. It's a Pokemon thing. You know, fire beats leaf, beats water, beats fire. Um, joystick is more maneuverable. The joystick flyers are going to have more maneuverability in their play style than the typical mouse and keyboard player will. The mouse and keyboard player will have a lot more precision in their aiming. They're going to fly differently because of that. Because they would need... All right, so your average mouse keyboard player would need six fingers to do everything that a HOTAS player is able to do at any time. That's nothing against the keyboard players. That's just a reality of how many fingers you have. You can't change that with, with bindings. The thing is... They're going to fly differently because they've got, unless they're flying with virtual joystick, right? And they probably aren't. Most, most, most keyboard players don't fly with that. Unless they're flying with virtual joystick, they're going to have a dead zone in the middle of the screen where they can aim their gimbals very precisely. And so they're going to fly at you, but they're not necessarily going to rotate and pitch their nose up and around like you would see a gamepad or a, or a joystick user doing. They're going to be flying probably with their nose to you. And their gimbals are going to start swiveling. And you notice that even if you strife around, their gimbals are going to follow you. That's just, you know, how you fly when you're doing that. Game, uh, game pad is a little bit difficult to suss out. Um, that one's a little bit hard to tell. But, yeah, you can normally tell if someone's using a, con a different control input method than just mouse and keyboard. Especially over time. Because you will see the same players over and over again. Especially if you're playing in the same time slot. That won't always be the case, but right now it is. Because there's not as many people playing. Um, in Randy Commanders, there will be in the future. So, you'll start recognizing patterns in the way different people fly, especially if you come up against them often, and you'll be able to know, all right, I'm pretty sure this guy's using a keyboard and mouse, or a joystick, or, or whatever he's using. Every input method, before anybody goes, Baron, you know, you're full of shit, every input method has its strengths and weaknesses. Every one is, is perfectly viable. I'm not hating on anything. Now, as far as whether you need to change your play style to, to adapt to the other person, I say no. I don't. Personally. If you can be more maneuverable, be more maneuverable. If you can be more accurate, be more accurate. But you want to bring the best of both of that that you can, you know, to every fight you're in. Every single fight. Be the best person you can be. Because... If you start getting in the habit of fighting people in different ways, you're going to slip up. Sooner or later, you're going to slip up. Now, there may be some MLG people out there who, who say, you know, yeah, man, adapt your play style. Figure out what they're doing. Get in the head of your enemy. I say, you know, be as survivable <laughs> and as dangerous as you can be at any given time. And just don't worry about anything else but killing your enemy. And it will come naturally. You will make small adaptations on a case-by-case -case basis as you are fighting. If you're in a dogfight for more than three seconds, you're going to be able to see how they're maneuvering. And you can adapt based on that. But I wouldn't try to suss out what their controller is. That's all. Now, if you find that, that thinking like that works for you, because it might. Thinking in terms of what, what's this person using, um, how, what general strategy can I use? If that works for you, then do it. By all means, whatever makes you the better pilot. But... Um, on, a, on a large basis, I would say, no, you don't need to worry about it right now. Just work on practice, get yourself um, awesome, become a mean, mean killing machine, and uh, go from there. That's what I'd say. Thanks, Zimmer.